All right, man, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Listen, man, we've been on a little hiatus. Yeah, some things we had to take care of, man. You know what I'm saying? But we back now. You know what I'm saying? So look, we're going to get right into it. We got a lot of things to cover. You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, what's the name goes, our channel. So just to let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a couple of videos coming out. So, don't think we slowed up. We just had some issues we had to take care of, but we back in full effect now. So, look. um, Hey, man. We're going to get right to it, man, because I think this topic, you guys been in our comments coming at us all crazy. So, of course, I did some research S did some research and we came up with something that we think that, um, you know, kind of supports our argument on a little bit here. So we're just going to get right into the video and it's from Dr. Phil. He's talking to some guy in the UCF. Now this guy, he is the son of the co-founder of Hamas. I want y'all to understand this. He's the son of the co-founder of Hamas. And he's been in Hamas since the 80s. Okay? So I want y'all to understand this. This is the son of the co-founder. Not some random guy. So let's get right to it. You're seeing what has been happening on college campuses everywhere. And joining me now are seniors from the University of Michigan, Selma and Zainab. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. Anything you want to say in response to what's been said so far? Well, absolutely. Um, I believe that this conversation is being uh, contextualized in the wrong way. I believe that it's being discussed um, under the notion that this is a religious war, that this is a conflict between Arabs and Jews, um, and that Hamas is central to Palestinian suffering uh, or Palestinian resistance. Um, and I think I want to give a bit more historical context uh, of why we're actually fighting for Palestine. When we say that we're pro-Palestine, we're not advocating for any military group. We're advocating for the total liberation of all oppressed peoples. I get the contextualization, mm -hmm. but I also get a lot of buzzwords strung together. But I'm asking you what you think and you believe. Let's start with what happened on October 7th. Mm -hmm. Do you endorse that? I reject the the premise of that question because I don't believe that the person asking me that question has the moral authority to ask it until they first and foremost condemn the violent formation of Israel and the ensuing Palestinian deaths. And in fact, I find it unfair that advocates for Palestine are first forced to preemptively condemn acts of violence uh, before their platform is considered legitimate. It plays into Islamophobic tropes. Islamophobic tropes? Yes. Well. Let's just get down to right and wrong. Okay. Now you see, this is this is this is the shit that pisses me off. He asked you a clear and simple question. Instead of you dancing around the damn question, you should have just answered it, then said all that. I reject the premise of this question, and it's 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 is is Islamic tropes, basically saying like, like, yeah, uh you are really saying something that's basically hateful because you were asking me, do I support what happened to all these innocent people that got killed by Hamas? And, and if you don't want to answer the question, that is an answer. Do you condemn what happened on October 7th? Of course, we do not justify murdering any innocent civilians. But again, the framework of the question makes it makes it seem as if the situation is the result 
only because of October 7th when there have been several massacres for decades leading up to this. So when we have been the recipients of that violence and we are first asked to condemn violence, I find that there is a sense of hypocrisy in those questions when our suffering is not being recognized. And the first thing we're asked is to condemn. What do you think Israel was going to do when Hamas cuts a hole in the fence and comes over the top and kills 1,300 people. What did you think they should have done? I think they have every right to go in combat with Hamas, but I don't think they have the right for 92% of the death count to be civilians. If they burn an infant in a crib, do you see that as a moral equivalent to a collateral death from a bomb being dropped as an act of war. They have explicitly targeted civilian areas that have been marked as civilian areas. Israel has the registry for every person in Gaza. And if that's know. where the enemy is hiding, do they have a right no, to attack them? No, they do not have the right to kill. There are some things that are just fundamental human decency. And when I ask you if what happened on October 7th is something you condemn and you say, well, you have to look at that by looking at hundreds of years of conflict. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's either right or it's wrong, and it was wrong, and I don't need a hundred years of conflict to know it was wrong. The fact wrong. of the matter is that Hamas, yes, did take innocent life. Why did Hamas take away innocent life? Why was Hamas platformed? Why was Hamas funded? Why is Hamas empowered to take away something. innocent life? Let me How tell you something. When somebody comes over a fence mm -hmm. and goes into someone's house mm -hmm. and burns their infant mm -hmm. in its crib, I don't give a damn why they did so it. It's wrong. <laughs> I've read it that the charter of Hamas is to... So you, so, so y'all exactly. still defending this? Yeah. So y'all still gonna hit 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 us with mental gy gymnastics and still defend this? I got a lot to say, but I'm I'm gonna keep it going because this guy has he's gonna say some things to them. So let's go. Eliminate the Jewish race, beginning with Israel, but not stopping with Israel, wiping them off the face of the earth. Is that true? This is true, but it does not end there. Now we have the problem of the pro-Palestine who are actually given Hamas cover. They are participants in the crime. In fact, since October 7, I personally don't differentiate between Hamas and what so-called Palestinians. Because actually there is no Palestinians. There are uh, tribes. There is the tribe of Hamas, and there is the tribe of the Islamic Jihad, and there is the tribe of Khalil, and there is the tribe of Nablus. And each one has different uh, interests, and all of them are conflicted. If they did not have Israel as the common enemy, they would kill each other. This is the reality you of what so-called Palestine. You don't know what Palestine is. Actually, mm. in fact, the kefiyah that you are wearing, mm -hmm. this is just a statement to show that you really lack the authenticity to represent the case. And what so-called the cause, mm -hmm. you know, this is a human problem. So you just... The cause must die. I think enough is enough. And now it's proven, and you are helping Hamas to prove it to the world that Palestine depends on the destruction of the state of Israel. And this is not acceptable, and we are not going to agree to it. And I tell you something, for the next 10 or 20 years, the Palestinian people will pay the bill that Hamas is caused today and most likely in blood. To you, Hamas and Palestinians are, are the same, they're one and the same. After October 7, yes, there is no difference. Really? The vast majority of the Palestinian people support Hamas. Really? This is a fact, this is proven by statistics, and your silence now, you are not even, you cannot even condemn Hamas and say that what they did on October 7 was an act of a savage group. You don't have that power. Said I can on what authority question. do you speak? You only speak on the authority of Hamas propaganda. No, I'm. S Why do you say that I'm speaking on the authority of Hamas propaganda? Because if I'm you were a decent human being, you can say that the thousands were killed on October 7. That was a crime against humanity. It was a genocide. It, uh, 
Whoa, man. Whoa, man. All right, man, look. So I've been doing some reading and um I'm not I'm not uh I'm not here to disrespect anybody's suffering. You know what I'm saying? But I am here to give the truth. And from what I'm reading, there's no such thing as Palestine. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as Palestinians. So what are y'all fighting for? I know what y'all fighting for. I'm talking about the name. What is this for? Because from what I'm reading, there's no such thing as Palestine. There's no state of Palestine. There's nothing. That's one. Two, how are you arguing with a dude who is a former Hamas member and his father is the co-founder? How are you arguing with him? How? He's one of the creators of it. At least his father is. And he was in it. Do you know his story? He said that he didn't like the fact that they were doing all this. You know, like they were trying to, you know, commit these acts of terror or whatever. And his dad disowned him. His dad said his blood is he offers his blood up to him. He can kill him. Y'all can kill him if y'all want. He told a story. Wow. He told a story. He said that when he was younger, he got raped. And in the Islamic world, he's saying he's saying this in the Islamic world, if you get raped, they don't only just kill you. They kill the rapist, too, because they want that shame to die with the person and the person it happened to. So most women that get raped, they end up, their families disown them and they get killed. Now, my question to y'all is, all y'all, all y'all, all y'all in the group, right? All y'all in the, in the, in, in this Hamas, uh, or this, uh, Palestinian group people that you, group of people that's in our comments, right? I want to, I want to understand something. If me and S is sitting here saying that we don't like genocide on either side, and you argue with us about it. That means that you like genocide. If we're saying that we don't want anybody to die and you arguing with us about it, that means you want people to die. That's what we're saying. So if we're speaking from the side of, of, uh, of, uh, Israel, because I don't see people in the comments that's, that's Israeli arguing with us. I don't. And my question is too, you're saying that these people are in an open air prison, right? And they, they can't go nowhere and they're being treated like this and they're being treated like that. What y'all not admitting is that 95% of it is owned by Hamas and is ran by Hamas. And this is what I read. A good portion of that country, maybe not 95, maybe a little less than that. But this country is controlled by Hamas for the most part. And another question I have, if you're saying that innocent civilians shouldn't be killed, right? But Hamas target innocent civilians. And if somebody can, somebody said, well, most of those people that died, they were soldiers. There was a, those, not the pictures I seen. It wasn't just soldiers that got killed. And on top of that, what type of answer is that? Most of the people they killed were soldiers. How do you even, how do you even justify that? I don't understand it. And in, in all this, oh, you need to educate yourself. Listen, let me explain something to y'all. We don't want people to die on either side. This, this, you don't have to go to Harvard or any type of Ivy League school to be educated about people not dying. So if me and S is saying 
that we don't want people to die. And you're telling us that we need to educate ourselves. You're the savage. You are the savage. Not us. We're saying we want the conflict to come to an end. But here's the craziest part, though. Y'all say that we need to educate ourselves. But ultimately, y'all asking for a ceasefire. Isn't that people dying? Not dying? Isn't that the same thing we're saying? We're saying the same exact thing. But for some reason, y'all got to argue with us about it. You need to educate yourself. Why? Because I don't agree with Hamas. I don't agree. With, I don't agree with terrorism on either side. And the only reason why we're talking about Hamas more than we're talking about Israel is because they are the known terror group. And I don't understand how people try to pretend like they don't do anything. This man literally said that Hamas needed Hamas need to be rat eradicated, period. Because these people are evil people and they're going to destroy any and everything in their path. And another thing, too, before I let S go. Most of y'all that defend Hamas. They don't even like y'all. <laughs> Most of you gay guys and you gay females who defend Hamas. They will kill you, too. They'll get you out of here, too, faster than probably anybody else. I don't understand why y'all think that y'all doing this virtuous thing. They don't like you either. They'll get you out of here, too. I don't get it. But you got it, bro. All right, you know, um, I'm not as, you know what I mean, as what a quote unquote um, enlightened to to the matter like I want to be because uh, because of the simple fact that I don't like genocide. Period. You know, and um, the more I hear about this, the more I get annoyed because like. As we explained in the video with Mac Lamore or whatever, the video that we reacted to, we already said, well, we don't like genocide. We don't like what's going on both sides. Mind you, the video that we had just reacted to with Dr. Phil, Dr. Phil wasn't choosing a side. He basically said, if somebody breaks into your house and burns a baby, is that person wrong? Breaks into your house. They could not even answer the question. Which means that they're for whatever is going on. They're for it. All we saying is that there's evil on both sides. That's not agreeing with the other side. That's not agreeing with this side. That's not agreeing with that side. We're just saying it's evil on both sides. That's all we're saying. And for you people that are saying that there's not evil on both sides, there's evil on one side, you're sadly wrong. Because the young man that was in the video that actually was with and the people that were funding this whole catastrophe and is a relative of the founder just explained that. So how y'all going to debunk that? What are you, what are y'all going to say about that? This guy, that's his that's his son. That's his son. His flesh and blood telling you that it's wrong. How y'all going to debunk that? How y'all going to debunk that? You know, it it's it, it's a problem in society when when you're telling somebody something is wrong and then they tell you it's not wrong, it's right. Where, where, where is the information? Where's the facts that's saying that this is right? Tell me. I need to know. I need to know because this has been going on for far too long. Far too long. And to say that 
We need to educate ourselves. Like, like my partner said, you don't need to be an Ivy graduate to know what's right from wrong. If somebody dies because they're innocent, that's wrong. Simple as that. Simple as that. You can't, you, there's no way around that. If I'm an innocent person and I get convicted as wrong for nothing, just for just being there, that is wrong. Innocent people are dying, both sides, for nothing. Because they're there. They have to witness it. That's like if a war comes to the United States and things go haywire. Innocent people will die because of it. Does that mean they should die? No. But according to y'all, they should die. Then tell us why. Tell us why they should die. And that's all that Dr. Phil was saying. And those women could not explain that. Dude even broke down the, the meaning behind their garb. They couldn't even explain that. Did you see the did you see the look on a girl's face? She was flabbergasted. She was like, What? I can't believe this. Hey, at the end of the day, man. You know, this is why, you know, I uh, I really try to stay away from, like, topics like this because, like, people will never learn. People will never listen. People will never be open-minded enough to understand what's really going on. But, you know, it's just programmed, recycled BS. That's basically what it is. You know what I'm saying? As long as y'all keep listening to this social bull crap of what the news is broadcasting, that's what y'all are going to believe. Because most of y'all don't even know what y'all are talking about. Most of y'all just watch the crappy news channels and then y'all just decipher it from there and then y'all choose whatever y'all want to believe. A lot of y'all don't even do the research yourself, to be honest with you. Maybe some of you, maybe a teeny weeny bit, maybe 5%. The rest of y'all don't really do the research yourself. So educate yourselves before y'all try to come at us. That's all I got to say. All right, man. You know what it is. Sketch pad. See y'all. Peace. Bye. What's going on with this? Yeah.